All right, I, I keep responding to comments on my settings video. We're 158 hours in, as you can see, and uh, I've been responding to a lot of comments. Like, look, I gotta, I've changed a couple things in the settings. It's time to, it's time to make a, an updated video after, I guess, all this testing and tuning and all this stuff. So look, go into your options, all right? Open the panel with the start button, go to options, all right? Game settings. I don't think I changed anything in here. Yeah, the biggest thing you want is to go to difficulty, okay? Now, I will tell you to leave ABS on. I know a lot of people run comfort on traction control, but I feel like sport is probably the way to go. Me personally, depending on the car and how I've tuned it, I will usually go off, but sport seems to be a uh, comfort seems like it would it would kick on a lot less but i almost feel like sport does and i feel like i get faster times i guess like it just doesn't seem to sport really only kicks on when you absolutely need it i feel like comfort kicks in more off the line so i'm gonna tell you to run sport tracks control esp turn that off drift assist turn that off counter steering assist turn that off airplane handling unless you're trying to do like a slalom with an airplane and you need to do crazy stuff leave that on because if you turn left it'll turn left without you having to do all the other rudders and all that stuff but i have a lot of people um, asking me why do you turn counter steer is it why do you turn all that stuff off because you don't need the game to play for you when it comes down to it it's just learn how the car drives and just drive it you don't I mean, some people might, yeah, I guess some people like counter steer assist, drift assist. I, I personally tried drifting with those assists on and I couldn't keep the car stable. I turned it off. No problem. But I'm also used to driving without, um, assists and all that stuff. So anyway, that's what I'm running for the global under difficulty. Now go into accessibility. All right. This is a big thing, especially for breaking down parts. Convert holds to presses. You're gonna go into accessibility and you go toggle over to motor, okay? Convert holds to presses. Turn this on. So basically, when you're breaking down parts or you're doing anything in the menus, instead of having to hold the button, you can just press it once and it's done and it's gone. If you've been messing with the affixes and all that stuff, you know that when you gotta scrap parts, this makes it way faster than holding every time. So do that. All right, now go down to controls. Now I'm lazy today. I'm I'm tuning cars. I I also want to say thank you guys because you guys have given me a ton of requests. I was gonna do a bunch of cars that I wanted to do, but now I'm gonna focus on uh, what you guys have been requesting. And I just when I'm tuning back and forth, like I'm just going around the same thing. It's just easier for me to leave it on automatic. And uh, but for me, I do run manual. If you can do manual or learn to drive manual you will be a little bit faster than the most uh i guess generic player but on top of that while we're here on the on, on that okay before we we come into controls i made a video about this but i don't think a lot of people saw it you can go to device manager here and click on controller and you can literally rebind any setting you want it like it's not just um, controls and preset here and changing, um, you know, like we can go manual, you know, it has the different button layouts. You can literally go to device manager and go to, you know, whichever one and remap every single button. So the people that, you know, wanted Forza button layouts, you can do that with this, no problem. So keep that in mind. So anyway, back to controls um what do i have here all right steering input now you want dead zone at zero i believe it's at 20. now if you look right there's a it doesn't kick right on when there's a dead zone you have to push it a little more in so i do want to note if for whatever reason you have controller drift like if you're playing this on the nintendo switch because that's the only time i've ever had controller drift in my life is uh on the nintendo switch which suffers from that immensely but 
I've used the hell out of this PS5 controller for the past, what, three years now? I have zero controller input. But if you see on there, like, your controller not pressing the joystick is like this or something, what you can do is you can set your dead zone to where it's not, like, active so that if you do have that, you know what I mean? It won't automatically turn and you have to just give it more input. Um, but for everybody that doesn't have controller drift, put this as zero because the game has a delay if you leave that on and nobody wants a steering or a throttle delay. Anyway, linearity, I mess with this a lot. It's, as you can see, like, it ramps up like the intensity of the steering so you can do like just a gradual uh 50 and it's just a 45 degree angle all the way up or you can run zero like me and it's it gives it more of a curve i don't it just feels more responsive to me so i have my linearity set at zero dead zone zero as far as the throttle um kind of same thing i believe it was on 50 right i put it to 25 just gives a little bit more of a more input when I go half throttle, dead zone zero as well. Um, for whatever reason, there's the, as you can see, the left uh, point of the line moves in. So when you start pressing the throttle, it's not doing anything. Get rid of that. You don't want to delay. You want, when you press the throttle, you want to press it. You don't drive a car in real life and go to press the throttle and have to wait 30 half a second for it to kick in it's not it's not a thing so get rid of that okay um 25 and zero right brakes i don't think i touched i left the brakes they they felt fine that's like a good i i just personally didn't feel like it needed it but you will probably change the dead zone to zero because again you don't want that delay in the brake and um I'm pretty sure that's it with with those controls getting rid of the dead zone and changing linearity just a little bit just it makes it feel much better I've got 158 hours in now and that's what I feel now I want to also say pro settings I've seen a lot of um, a lot of posts on reddit about um, the car is feeling slidey and this and that and well if if you don't if you a lot of people just are like go change your controller settings if that doesn't help well then you're shit out of luck and it's like no i don't think a lot of people realize how how much of an impact the pro settings have on a car i have probably 25 plus tunes out on the channel if you guys uh, are new or are feeling like you're not driving the best go try one of my tunes out you'll notice a huge difference with the car and you'll be like holy shit this game actually can feel good it can feel grippy the steering input can feel way better on the cars um if you know how to tune a car great go start tuning but all these pro settings as you can see they're not at zero i've done a lot of testing with these cars i'm eventually going to do every car but if you're still having issues with how the game feels overall the vehicles every vehicle feels different just go try one of my pro settings throw it on a car you'll notice a huge difference i have a playlist for that i will link it in the description but the game feels a hundred times better when you tune the pro settings i just want to put that out there so if you don't like how the game feels with just changing the game options do that anyway i got a uh, i got a ton of requests i'm working on i'm gonna get on that but I, i've been saying i was gonna do an update and settings video for a while it's here Anyway, you boys know the drill. Subscribe, come back. I'll work on cranking out these tunes, and uh, see you on the next one.